Imagine the challenge facing subsistence farmers of eastern and southern Africa. Many must grow everything their families will eat during the year on less than a hectare of land. They have to plan for nutrition, storage, cropping seasons, water supply. It's a daunting task of organization and resource management that cannot produce enough. Even when the weather cooperates, the maize-based farming system as it now exists does not work. Families face hunger every day trying to make their crops last until a new harvest. Often the food runs out. They call it the hungry time. People here eat an average of 1.6 meals a day. The leading cause of, of infant mortality here is, is uh, malnutrition. Farmers are basically in a situation where the only choice they have is to rely on the resource base that exists on their farm. And of course it's unviable in the long term. But through a research program that involves them directly, many farmers in southern Malawi are learning how they can get much more out of their small parcels of land to produce the cash they need for fertilizers that could make the farming system truly viable. The International Center for Living Aquatic Resources Management, a research institution supported by Canada, has proven that by setting aside a small amount of their precious land for fish farming, farmers can improve all crop production. The system relies on their ingenuity in recycling farm wastes into fish feed. Daniel Jamu coordinates the program. We didn't want the farmer to, to look for off-farm off inputs, uh, but uh, I uh, just use local available resources, uh, uh, waste from the kitchen, uh, maize bran uh, from maize processing, weeds from around the garden. In addition to using the water to irrigate vegetables in the dry season, farmers started to grow cash crops, like bananas and guavas, right on the waterlogged banks of their fish ponds and they found that the ponds could provide fertilizer for their crops as well. Farmer is able to grow vegetables, even in the summer he's able to plant bananas and he's able to bring other, other crops and have a variety of, of, of crops which are not possible before. For example, fish ponds also provide fertile ground for growing rice. Some farmers have become local experts in the fish pond technology. Mundawa Salimu is expanding his operation. What started as a single pond has grown to become several. And he's not worried about competition from other farmers who are also trying out the system. They often come to him for advice. Not far away, villagers have established fish ponds for the entire community. The fish are a source of tasty, high-quality protein and also give families cash they've never had before. We've seen up to six-fold increases in the profitability of, of these small farms. We can easily double their, uh, the output of their fish ponds simply by uh, integrating them.
by using fish ponds to manage water during the dry season and by integrating those ponds with their gardens, farm families here in southern Malawi have taken great strides towards eliminating what were called the hungry times. The challenge now is to move the technology out on a much larger scale. For the Canadian Farm, I'm David Mowbray in Zomba, Malawi.